Um, I'll get started with Anand. I think everybody is going to be a little curious to understand what got you to really incorporate the entire inclusive movie screening experience with the Bangalore International Short Film Festival. I know it's an obvious question, but a one that we really want to hear a little bit about. There's only one word for that answer. It was Feroz, so there's no other... We guessed uh, it. We guessed yeah. it a little bit. Uh, as he mentioned earlier, uh, it was, of course, uh, the first time when, I, when we spoke about having uh, inclusive cinema in the festival. I was a little hesitant because I had no idea about uh, the kind of uh, focus we need to give this uh, space. And uh, it was, I mean, I mean, I was hesitantly talking to him and he said, no, we should do that. And uh, I said, okay, let's give it a try. And I was, I was thinking how many films might be there. And as he said, uh, there were more than 200 films which came in. And we were really surprised as to uh, the, the kind of focus uh, global cinema is giving this. There were not many films from India when we started out, but that has gradually grown over the time. And it's, it's really been a privilege and honor to do this uh, uh, section because it gives people a lot of attention on what are the uh, problems which uh, you know, inclusivity uh, needs and what is the focus which it needs. And people, uh, when Vijay was there at our festival this year, the kind of uh, uh, thoughts he spoke about and uh, uh, what we need to do, it, it really uh, opened the eyes of many people. So uh, as we started, it was about 200. Now we have grown. We close, I think, around 350 to 400 films each year now. And uh, we, we would probably like to open up as a se separate section for international and Indian so that we can get more Indian films into this section. So that is what and is And how happening. many of these were Indian out of the 200 or 350? Uh, uh, not many, again. Uh, I think maybe we have not uh, promoted ourselves so much so that, uh, as again Firoz was saying, Indian films are still not focused on that space, especially short films. Maybe feature films, there are some focus. But short films, we need to still uh, put some attention into it and speak about it more. I think I, I would say about uh, 10%, 30, 30, 40 films, but I still long feel it's a go. Yeah, long, long way to, to go. go. Uh, Vijay, your experience as a jury member, we're probably only seeing a drop in the ocean today, right? Three movies, there are way more that you have had to kind of witness. What's been your experience? Uh, I'd love to hear a little bit on that. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, Devika, and uh, thanks for hosting us today, uh, this evening. Uh, yeah, it, it was uh, really like amazing uh, experience what I had uh, uh, at uh, BIF. And uh, also I thank IAS for uh, providing me that opportunity because being a volunteer and being a photographer and next being a jury member, it's uh, uh, really an uh, amazing uh, experience for me. And other than that, like what, uh, uh, like Firoz said uh, uh, b before our panel discussions, uh, it, is, uh, uh, it, it is true that uh, we, we cannot explain ev everything uh, b b with, the wor uh, with, with the words. And uh, through movies, like it is, uh, it, it's one of the very strong media that uh, which tells about uh, what, uh, what are our desires and what are, uh, what are our thinkings, what, uh, what are the livings, uh, lives of uh, people with disabilities, all those things. And uh, I was the jury member for almost like uh, 14 uh, short movies. And in those short, 14 short movies, uh, one common thing I noticed in each movies was like uh, everything portrayed about uh, life's challenges and uh, achievements of the people with disabilities. And it was portrayed in a way that, uh, uh, in a respectful manner. And it's, it's very realistic. And uh, real, real people have acted in those movies. Uh, and it was not like somebody uh, came as acting as, as a uh, person with special abilities. So it, it was truly an amazing uh, experience, uh, Devika. Are we seeing one of your favorite movies here today? Uh, no, uh, <laughs> these movies was not, were not in that. Uh, so we'll, you'll give us recommendations after the event for sure. Sure, sure. <laughs> Great. Um, Anand, um, you know, we've been kind of, this is the first time I think IS is doing this, right? We are kind of uh, trying to talk a lot more about mainstream inclusion, Movie making is a huge um, aspect of it. Um, where do you see this place going now? Like, how do you see most of us? How can we kind of go back, talk more? How do we encourage more people to kind of add to the viewership as well? Uh, 
there are many ways, of course, but one of the things I wanted to actually talk about is, uh, this actually Firoz mentioned to me, uh, uh, the Oscar committee or uh, Hollywood has made sure every film which is coming into the Oscar has to have a uh, disabled person part of the crew. So, okay. yeah, and they are making more inclusivity as part of the whole industry now. And uh, that is something which I was thinking while he was talking today. Maybe that is something which we can also start doing it in Indian cinema. And if we can try to do that uh, where there is some opportunity for each one of us to be part of it. And uh, we talk about, in a subtle way, uh, see, a lot of things, uh, sorry, I'm uh, digressing a bit. The Many of the films are documentaries. It is not fiction or stories like this, what we saw right now. It is more about a struggle of a person or what, uh, uh, what the society is going through. And uh, we need to, I think, focus on telling stories and maybe happier stories on that everything is not sad. It, there is actually a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, and a lot of uh, sharing happening with these people and with this uh, community, with these uh, thoughts. And if we can bring that, and uh, that will actually, I think, improve uh, people to watch more films, uh, which are topics based on uh, disability. And uh, I think if we focus a little bit on making a list of films and we can share it among this group first to say that, you know, these are films, can we start watching it? I mean, can we start talking about it, sharing, sharing about it? I think that will slowly spread across. Being part of the industry for so long, till uh, Firoz introduced me to uh, inclusion, I was very, you know, I was, um, I did not know, I did not focus on it much. And uh, as a part of the festival, we are now slowly uh, making it uh, every year so that more people are aware about this. And uh, maybe once we do this on a larger group, we can try to bring in more awareness and more people can watch these kind of stories. And these stories, again, need not be documentary. We need to focus more on joy. With, that, is when, that is what people need, I think. If you're watching more films which are sharing thoughts, sharing uh, ideas, uh, that will uh, attract people to watch these, watch films which are on these topics. So I think that's, that's what we can do as people who are movie, India is a movie buff country and I'm sure we all come together for two things in India. One is movies, one is for cricket. So I'm sure we can, we can do that. Both are happening simultaneously. Uh, I hope some of the aspiring movie makers in the audience do take note and those are some incredible best practices if I can say that we could probably look at, uh, you know, having it over in India as well because those are great ways to include more, and only when we learn more stories can we write more stories. Also, I think uh, because most uh, corporates uh, um, representatives are here, even if we do an annual focus of some of the films which we are showing today, and we can develop a kind of an activity where more corporate employees are aware of this, just not, just not by just going somewhere and uh, working with uh, the inclusion team, but also uh, watch movies for joy and uh, we can maybe spread awareness with their, uh, uh, with the employees, their families, their children and that can grow better. Absolutely. Great ideas. I'm sure some of us are making notes already, Anand. Uh, Vijay, um, you've, you've seen the space evolve, right? You've been volunteering. I've seen you zip across the uh, IS summit, taking photographs. Uh, now you're the jury member this year. The space is evolving, and I think all of us are witnessing it. Uh, but as a person from the community, what's been the change? What's been the impact that you've personally felt? Uh, the impact and the change, what I felt is the empowerment. Because most of, uh, like I said, like uh, not everywhere like uh, we can speak openly, and uh, not everyone listens to us. And IAS is kind of place that uh, we are getting empowered like each day and each time and with each person we, when we speak and everyone are happy to listen to us and uh, and i say it's, uh, it's it's very impactful in the lives like uh, to be frank like last year when i was on the stage i was i was very nervous and i was not able to speak at all and this year at least i am speaking uh, on the stage and uh, so when you told me to... Uh, we need a little bit of a cheer for this. I know how Vijay has conquered his uh, stage fear. So it's, uh, I'm super happy to see you here right now. So this is the change what you are seeing in me. This, this is what IS has made me. 
as a change what what I got. And not only in my uh, real instinct, at, 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 the, at the level of my professional way also, IS is in my background. Like whenever I have in, uh, pro professional talks or anything, one or the other person from IS will be there for us to support, to guide, and all those things. So this is a space of change, what I see uh, at IAS. And I think it's a high time to call it as a movement, not as a summit uh, in the future. Yeah. So yeah, Th these are the changes what I see uh, in this space. OK, so I know you both have a sneak peek of what's in store. Our folks have only seen one movie. So do you want to let out some secrets on what can they expect in the coming two movies, your favorite movies, anything you would want to share? No, I think uh, the movies which you are showing today are uh, very nice and very uh, joyful, especially the last film, Sunshine. I think you should all watch it. It will really bring a sunshine into your minds and hearts. Uh, these, are, these are part of a, a bigger, uh, a lot of a plethora of films. Uh, probably we'll work with uh, Feroz and team to see if we can put it at one space where it's accessible throughout the year to uh, people who want to watch it. And uh, we curate this uh, every year. We bring uh, a small size films to show it in the summit and uh, make it, uh, you know, make, bring a little bit of joy from our side. Okay, Vijay? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Else. Nothing. Okay, can you leave us with a movie recommendation then? Uh, the Basic Resilience from the short movie. Okay. And uh, if you want to give, go with the featured movie, it's uh, The Intouchables. The? Intouchables. Intouchables, okay. You want to share yours, Anand? I know you've uh, seen too way many, too many. Too many to think, but uh, I will just share it with the, uh, I'll share it with Firoz so I can share it with all of you later. All right, Firoz regularly sends us emails, so maybe the next one is on movie recommendations from the two of you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for a quick short panel. I think it was very important for us to understand uh, the reason behind getting these movies in and the impact that both of you have been having on the space. So uh, thank you so much. And uh, we'll move on to our next set of movies. Thanks a lot. And thank you very much again for uh, giving this spot. We are going to do this every year. So you will all see movies every year. Uh, uh, as uh, Feroz has promised, and uh, we will work towards it to bring you better and better joyful and smiling films when you watch it. Thank you very much again. Thank you.